Hello friends, welcome back to Star Stylus Homestead. And guess what I'm making tonight? Go ahead, guess. <laughs> of course, that picture probably gave it away. And I haven't even taken a picture yet because it's not made. <laughs> um, but it will be. Yep, I'm going to be using my peaches that I had left over yesterday. I had a friend come today, the one that, thank God, decided to wait to come today from yesterday. Um, because whew, that was a mess. <laughs> they came out awesome and I'm glad I did them, but that was a mess. So I'm going to make a cobbler, a peach cobbler today. Um, uh, no, crisp, <laughs> sorry, peach crisp. Um, and I have to keep watching this. I got to, I thought I'll pull it up to make sure it stays on because if this one goes off, I've had it. My husband and I are going to look at them tonight and get a new one. So anyway, let's get this going. Look, every one of them, I don't know if you can see them over here. Every one of my jars sealed. I just literally have been in the pool all day long. And I washed them this morning and um, took all the lids off, cleaned them up, labeled them. I just need to go upstairs and get my box and put them away now. So there's that. But I literally been in the pool all day. Um, so let's make this. How's that? Okay, let's put you down. Okay. Um, my oven is preheating at 375, and it just went off. Um, and yes, I'm still. I'm gonna go back in the pool after I water my plants tonight. So, brown sugar. We're gonna make it with the top being more um, crisp than fruit. And I was going to do a strawberry, because I still have those strawberries in there I haven't made anything with. I was gonna do half and half, half strawberry and half crisp. And you know what? Nah, because I don't wanna have to freeze any. So we'll just do this one today. Maybe this weekend I'll do something with the strawberries. Okay. So back to it. We have three fourths cup of brown sugar. Let's see if I, yeah, I didn't think so. I have one of those things in here to keep my sugar from getting all clumpy. Oh, that's a piece of brown, brown sugar. Packed. There we go. I'm just going to grab a little more because that wasn't too packed. <laughs> yeah, one of these things. They work pretty good, too. Oops. Guess I'm going to have to put that in there. Okay. There's my brown sugar. Oh. Um, and oh, come on. And then we need. Oh, duh. Take that out, Teresa. Then we need a half a cup of flour. All-purpose flour. Yeah, I have it right here. It's my half a cup of flour. Now I have sugar all over my hands. Okay, cinnamon, your choice if you want to use cinnamon or not. Let's see, it is, where is it, half a teaspoon? Yeah, I better grab it. <laughs> I was just going to dump it in, but half a teaspoon. Then we need three quarters cup of Old-fashioned rolled oats, not the minute. Rolled oats. Ouch, and salt. Uh, we'll just do a couple pinches of salt. Okay, let's mix. Oh. Mix all this together. 
this is going to be another quickie because I'm almost done. Um, one third cup. So, or six tablespoons. Let me. I'll put you right back down. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to just use my hands. That'll be easier. Oh, maybe not. Look. It will be once it all comes together. So you don't have to see that. Um, and then I'm just going to let it drop. And I'll fix it in a minute. <laughs> um, I bleached my whole kitchen after yesterday. Including my phone because of touching all that sugar and stuff. Oh, what a mess. Okay, I'm going to edit this video because I have to walk over to the sink and I know you don't want to see my big old rear end. <laughs> because this is done. I got to get my hands out of this. Ugh. Yeah, see? <laughs> All right, let me go wash my hands and pick my towel back up. Okay, we've got this, and we need to butter it. So, now that I just washed my hands, <laughs> let's use this. All right, nice and buttered with all that cinnamon and everything on there. Okay, and this is what I have, this one and this one. I'm going to open this one first, no sense in, and we're going to dump that all in the bottom. Oh, just smelling this, <laughs> guys, friends. Okay, there's one. Oh, come on. It closed on me. There we go. Now I got to get a clean one. I don't want to stick a dirty one in there. I don't know, I could probably use this whole thing, but my husband wants some for <laughs> for uh, his ice cream. So, that's what I'll do. Right there. That's a lot, because look at what's left. That's crazy. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> that is so good. Friends! Oh, fell oh, right in there. Okay, and now the topping. Yeah, this is going to be good. Now, let's just dump it all in there. All going in. It smells delicious. Okay, that's done. And I don't think I put anything on top. Uh, sprinkle across the top. Okay, it's done. 
oven's ready. Let me put this in. It's going in for 30 minutes. I shall return. Let's see, this is 1334 right now. Let's see what I cut this down to. Hey friends, it just came out. Look at that deliciousness. Well, it came out about five minutes ago. I had to order pizza for dinner because I'm not cooking. But you see all that? That was all bubbling all around here. That's when you know it's done and it's nice and crispy. Yeah. So after dinner, I'll do the taste test. Mm-hmm. Good. All righty, friends. Okay, this is on. I didn't eat yet. Um, but my son's picking the pizza up. I just want to finish this video and get it over with. So I am going to try some. Just a little bit. I got a tiny little bowl. Let's see. This looks crunchier right here. Just a little bit, she says. <laughs> like four different four different uh tablespoons. There we go. Wow. I almost want to eat this instead of the pizza. That is so good. Oh, my word. And nice and crispy on top. Mmm. Let me grab that peach. Mmm. That is phenomenal. Oh, my God, friends. <laughs> Mm. I'll let my husband have that bite. He's on the phone. Anyway, this was a quick one. I'm using my pie filling. You can use fresh peaches and do up. A, a matter of fact, I'll put the um in the recipe below. I'll put if you are using fresh peaches or canned peaches, um, where you mix that up and then put it in and then put the topping on. So I'll put it all together or pie filling. Um, that would be phenomenal with my apple and my strawberry. So I might have a picnic this weekend. Um, maybe Sunday if it's not going to rain, if it's going to be a nice day like it has been the last two. I think that's what I'll do. And I'll make the strawberry one and I'll show you. I won't show you the whole thing because it's the same thing, basically. Um, yeah, he ain't getting this one. That is really good. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here, guys. I love all the support you guys give me. I'm sorry to those who can't hear very well when this isn't going. I really, I truly try to keep it on and, and so that you guys can hear me. But this thing has been dying on me, and it's frustrating. So. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope you have beautiful weather and it's not all rain because three weeks here of that was miserable. Um, I got to go water my garden. I redid my garden last night. Um, I weeded it all and put everything up and it looks beautiful. What's left after that storm. But so now I have to go water. it. I'll water it before he comes home with the pizza. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.